monoliths, creative juices, aliens. In today's video, I'll show you how I have created a monolith taking off like a rocket in 3D. My name is Ines Alea. Welcome to VFX Explained, a show where I reveal the mysteries behind your favorite Hollywood effects. Although in today's video, it's not from a Hollywood movie, but it's from an internet mystery. The reason I like this concept so much is because you can easily get distracted by all the reasons why something mysterious would appear. <clears throat> Aliens. So internet has been overflowing with posts about this mysterious monolith appearing all around the globe. But what are they and what do they want? We have no idea, or do we? Do we already know where they are coming from? Let me know. Um, I have no idea at least, but just let's think that these are alien and we're going to create some alien rocket takeoff. So we're going to analyze our scene first. Basically for the scene, we can let our creative juices flow as you can literally do any type of VFX using this monolith. So basically with this effect, we're getting this carte blanche or just a beautiful way to say, do whatever the f you want. Like Artlist.io. They also had this amazingly creative ad just when the monoliths were a very hot topic. They released this kind of leaked footage that the monoliths were invented by them. Really cool video, so an ideal opportunity to partner up together with them and make this video happen. So today's video sponsor is Artlist.io. They provide easy and simple to find high quality music. They also have one worldwide license, royalty free, which means personal personal, commercial projects, TV, podcasts, YouTube, virtual reality, video games, mobile, whatever you're planning on doing, they probably have you covered. So Artlist is the go-to place when you're looking for quality music and they're also adding music daily. You can also get a free trial with preview downloads, which means that you can download a watermark song and see how it vibes with your video. If you would like to find out more, definitely check out the link in the description below to see Artlist.io. All right, so back to the alien monoliths. When you create visual effects, all you need is a reference. So search all the monoliths that you can find. Boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. So my shot wasn't well recorded, so I just had to re-record this shot. I actually lost an entire week trying to track this footage down, but I always like to see the bright side of the story, so I actually learned a ton of new tracking techniques. So my tracking game is on point. Get it? Because of the tracking points? So I recorded the shot and I exported this as an image sequence, imported that in Cinema 4D using the motion tracking and then let the tracking games begin. It's wonderful when you can work on a perfectly tracked shot. So do take the time for this part. It really pays off in the end. All the VFX are based on this solid foundation of a great track. One little slip can throw off your entire audience and tell like immediately this VFX is fake. And we don't want that, do we? So, okay, once I have my shot tracked, I will of course solve my camera. And I try to match my scene scale. That's the most important thing that I'm trying to achieve. It's always important to work with realistic scale as VFX is basically recreating reality with your own magical touch to it. After this, I went to Illustrator to recreate the logo of Artlist. I just needed the outlines just so we can continue on their conspiracy concept. I imported that in Cinema 4D and extruded it into a monolith. I gave it some extra details by beveling the edges and to make it look all high detail. And actually, let's rewind a little bit. We are back outside because we actually need to do an important step when it comes to recreating this monolith. As you can see, it's very, very reflective. It's a chrome box, basically. So our reflections are going to play a huge role in making this look real or fake. So what we need is an actual reflection of our environment where we shot it. And the only way to do that is to capture an AGRI environment. So here I am with the Insta360 ONE X to capture different exposure photos to create my AGRI map, which is going to be used as a light map for my 3D environment, giving me the same lighting and reflections that are on set. All right, back to the studio. So we have these 360 images. I'll import them in the Insta360 Studio and then export them as individual JPEGs. Then I'm going to be using Photoshop to turn these images into a merged HDRI photo and boom, we have this amazing HDRI environment. Cool. So now we have a monolith and our HDRI environment. We need to add some chrome texture to this. So what do we learn from VFX? Yeah. 
so we need to turn this perfect chrome to less perfect chrome. I'm not going to bum you out with all the technical details about this part, but basically I layered up a bunch of effects by adding imperfections in the roughness, the bump, the reflections, the dirt, kind of edges and creaks to finally get to this chrome look. Once we have this down and the shot is already tracked, we basically already have our cool looking result. This is a monolith tracked into your shot. Now let's take it a step further. We're going to animate the position to go up and we're really going to slowly ramp up the beginning so it looks like a pressure is building beneath it and pushing the monolith up. And then we're going to recreate our smoke for our monolith. To do this, I actually created an emitter object and made it blast out particles at a fast rate. I place this emitter at the bottom of my monolith, place it into that null so it also animates up and I just made it start when I think the engine should start. So then it's time to add some smoke to these particles. For this I'm using Turbulence FD, an amazing plugin for Cinema 4D when it comes to simulation. So I added an emission tag to the emitter so that way the particles are going to be uh, creating this smoke and then I added a collision tag to the ground which is basically just a cube box and then I also checked collision for the monolith so it also interacts with the uh, monolith when the fumes are starting to rise. Next I create a container where my simulation will be performed and I play with all these settings. I just flipped up the buoyancy so it's actually moving down instead of up because normal fire would move up but we want it to move down following the particles. So to do this I'm turning up the velocity weight that's going to kind of use the weight of the particles to simulate the fire in the direction where the particles are going at. So luckily Octane can work with this kind of simulation so I gave it an Octane tag and I can create this really cool look uh, using all Octane settings and that's also going to help a big time during the rendering of the scene. So voila, there we have our shot. It's actually a pretty simple shot. Anyway, when you get to this point, you can literally achieve unlimited types of effects using the monolith in your 3D VFX work. So just be creative, let your creative juices flow and yeah, just let the monolith decide what you're going to do. It would be fun to see your creations. You can always post them to Instagram and tag me at Ineas Alea. Now that's how you can recreate the monolith scene yourself. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. If you aren't already Ready. We also have a Discord group where we can discuss and chat together, so definitely check that out in the description as well. And by the way, have you seen my video where I broke a keyboard on my friend's face? True story. <laughs> it was actually the previous video where I recreated the wanted keyboard smash. Definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. I will link it up somewhere here and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.